Rev Scott here, and today in our Bible Code session, we want to look at the cost of following Jesus. Many people will describe following Jesus as a pleasure cruise, the best thing they've ever done, and in some parts that's true. But the reality is that Jesus describes it like this. In Luke chapter 9, verse 23, If you want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. We've turned the, the cross into the most incredible symbol of hope. But for the disciples, they understood that the cross, and they hadn't seen Jesus die yet, the cross was something that was an instrument of torture, an instrument of death. Is Jesus calling us to a life of pain and suffering? Sadly, the truth is, as a Christian, yes, we will experience hardship. We will experience persecution. We will experience suffering, but with a purpose. And the purpose is proclaiming God's kingdom. I don't know about you, but whether you've ever had the opportunity to carry a cross, not a little cross like this one, but a large cross. It is awkward. It overbalances. The cross that Jesus carried, just the, 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 the cross piece would have been about 35 kilos on his broken back. But he did it because he had a greater purpose in mind. And so as Christians, we should be asking ourselves, is my walk with Jesus feeling like a pleasure cruise or like I'm carrying a cross? And if it's feeling like a pleasure cruise, then we're not walking in step with Jesus. If it's feeling like a cross and a burden, then we're getting something right. Now, not just any kind of burden. You know, some people say, I wake up with a uh, hangover or oh, I'm being persecuted. No, you're not. It's enduring hardship for the kingdom's sake. And at the end of that is not only the victory of Jesus, but our victory too. Luke goes on to say, for those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake will save it. What does it profit them if they gain the whole world, but lose or forfeit themselves? Many people today live very, very comfortable lives. They have a kingdom in their home. But they've never experienced the joy of weeping as you feed somebody who's hungry. They've never experience what it truly means to stand up for the kingdom no matter what that's what jesus is calling us to he wants us to go into the world and oppose the ways of the world which will cause pain it caused him pain and death for us it'll cause us heartache and many other things but it has a purpose and that purpose is found in christ let's pray Heavenly Father, today we just pray that we might find out what it truly means to pick up our cross, to give thanks for our suffering, for our suffering draws us closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen.